hello guys so welcome to a new lecture so today i'll be uh, explaining you the concept of policies in uh, ipconnect enterprise uh, like uh, in iib uh, we used to create some configurable services right so uh, in ipconnect enterprise we don't have a configurable services concept instead we have policy concept okay so i will quickly create a project and uh, uh, in this project I'll, I'll i'll explain how we can use policies okay so let's get started so here i have created an application okay file output app so let me quickly uh, drag and drop the required nodes what i'm gonna do is i am gonna put a file on a file server by making use of policies okay inside the policies will uh, i i'll be providing properties like server name and all like in uh, iib in configurable services we used to provide server name and uh, uh, other properties directory right all those properties uh, security identity so here uh, i mean uh, in policy project i'll provide the same so drag and drop file output quickly connect the terminals i don't want to write any code here Uh, just copy entire message okay just provide q name so i'll be triggering triggering a message and uh, that message will contain a file and that file will be written to a directory okay so let's try this thing first without policy project okay so let me provide a directory here so here file out i have already uh, created a directory even if you don't create a directory and uh, I mean, just uh, suppose this file output is not existing but still if you provide it will be created after your uh, uh, application or transaction is executed so this is the thing now provide the output file name suppose i'm giving it my output.txt okay save it go to ftp check it ftp so i have a ftp server i'm providing detail of uh, the same ftp server port is always uh, 21 so colon 21 is this server port let me provide security identity name which will contain the username and password of this server so yeah so i think we are done let me deploy it there is some error let let's see what is the error okay sec this sec id is invalid because if i am providing security identity then i should uh, set username and password of this ftp server inside this okay so yeah, let's follow the same process which we used to follow in iib your security identity name then your uh, username for ftp server for my ftp server this is the username and password now uh, stop and start your node and this is it say stop So your node is stopped. Now start it. Uh, 
again I have missed S okay your node is started now let's deploy so it is successfully deployed so let me put a file there is a file file for the txt let me uh, write this file okay so i have already opened my filezilla a tmp directory is created i had already created it yeah so if you see my output of txt file is present here right and if you see the time 543 543 okay so uh, right now uh, my output.txt file is placed in this folder okay through ftp transfer now let's create let's introduce a policy concept here. for that we have to create a policy project if you go to new policy project name this policy project I am naming it my policy the new policy I am naming it FTP okay the moment you do it you will see a FTP.policy file is created now select the type FTP server select the template FTP server now if you see these are the same property which we used to provide uh, in configurable services in IIB okay so these are I mean are the same same things we have to provide in policy project okay it's nothing uh, fancy or or a very big difference kind of thing it's just you have to create a project and provide the same thing okay so I'm providing here my server name okay you can provide the remote directory I am providing uh, suppose file out okay provide security identity name okay and uh, uh, you can keep remaining things default okay just save it okay now deploy it on the execution group or integration server okay so let me simply drag and drop deploy so it is deployed now change the properties here see if you remember in uh, IIB if we are if we uh, were creating uh, configurable service then here we used to provide configurable service name right instead of server and port we used to provide configurable service name which already contained your server and port but here we have a policy project so here we'll provide a policy project name in curly braces like this and then colon your policy file name my policy file name is FTP okay now this is the this is the thing okay now deploy your application because you have changed it so deploy it again now execute it See, this file out directory is created now I can see my output here okay so I have provided file out directory here that's why so this time my policy is working okay so now see there is one advantage uh, when you create a MQSI uh, create configurable service when you execute MQSI create configurable service command then what happens uh, after the command you have to reload your server or your integration node right uh, for changes to take effect but here you simply deployed your policy project and executed 
okay so this is a single uh, deployment uh, now uh, suppose you want to uh, change some property in your configurable service which you have created so in iib you used to run mqsi change properties command right but here uh, we can do uh, it in a different way okay it's very easy you don't have to deploy your policy project again it's very easy so just go to <coughs> your workspace where your project is present where your my policy project is present in this folder let me see if i have already opened it yeah so this my policy project okay just copy the whole folder okay whole folder is copied now go to the work directory so by default work directory is this thing your pro c program data ibm mksi components and then your integration node name folder with your integration node name go to it server default default is your integration server name okay this thing inside that there is a overrides folder open it just paste this project folder here open your file and modify it so suppose if you want to modify your folder suppose just save it ok save it now again <coughs> do one thing reload your integration server so your integration server is reloaded execute again go to your server refresh it see okay so if you want to make any change in the policy just uh, uh, keep the folder your policy project folder in override directory of your integration server make changes reload your integration server and changes will take effect okay so uh, whatever type of uh, whichever type of configurable service you used to create in IIB like for JDBC or for some or like for email server or for timer nodes you can do the same using policy project and deploy your policy project that's it guys so uh, I mean in this lecture this is the thing which I wanted to teach you guys so thank you so much and if you like my video please hit a subscribe button please hit a like button okay and if uh, i get some time i'll be uploading more videos on ibm app connect enterprise so for that uh, what you can do you can hit the bell icon so that uh, if anytime I'm, I'm uploading a video it you will get notified so that's it guys thank you thank you so much